For many people, prayer is just a ritual, something that you do to fulfill a certain obligation, a spiritual obligation. It doesn't matter whether it's answered or not. It says that I am supposed to pray and people spend time in prayer, not expecting any results. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Karita Mbagara, the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. God expects us to receive answers to our prayers. But sometimes we pray and prayers are not answered. I want us to look at a passage in the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, sorry, and uh, make a few comments on how uh, we can ensure that our prayers are answered. Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21, it reads, Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away for she, is, uh, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. Her daughter was healed at that moment. When you read that uh, account of the Canaanite woman, when she first spoke, the Bible tells us that Jesus ignored her. He did not even reply to her. And it is the disciples that came to Jesus and said, please send her away because she keeps bothering us. And Jesus answered the disciples, not the woman, that he was sent to the people of Israel. In other words, Jesus is not bothered with the request or the prayer that the woman is making. But then we are told that the woman came, according to this version, and knelt before Jesus. She came and worshipped him, according to another version. And that's where the secret is. When we humble ourselves and worship God, our prayers cannot but be answered. God will respond to us. That's when Jesus spoke to the woman and told her that he has only bread for the children, but there is a conversation between him and the woman. You see, the Bible says that God dwells in the presence of the worship of his people, or rather, God dwells in the praises of his people. When we learn to praise God, when we learn to acknowledge God for who he is, when we glorify him, we acknowledge his greatness and his power, our prayers will be answered. But when we come and we have no regard for him, we do not acknowledge who he is, it is likely that our prayers are going to be ignored. Not because it is not a need he cannot, I mean he, can, he cannot meet, but just because of the attitude with which we come. I want to urge you to learn to worship God before you pray. And you will find that more often than not, your prayers will be granted. You may ask me, but sometimes the prayer that I need to make is an emergency. I don't have time for worshiping God and adoring. I need to call him immediately and I need help on an immediate basis. I will tell you what you need to do is to develop a life of worship so that when that time comes, the prayer, the prior worship that you did will suffice. The fact that you have a relationship 
will be uh, taken into account. Live a life of worship. Live a life of humility and God will hear your prayer. But the second thing that I want to point out is that this woman was persistent. She knew the starting point and she knew that she needed to worship, but she also was persistent. And this persistence shows her faith, perhaps because she knew she had no alternative B. And God sometimes wants us to show our faith by sticking with him, that we are not busy making strategies of how we can be involved in self-help programs as far as our prayers are concerned. When we know that God is the final answer to our request, then we will be persistent and we don't give in. No matter what happens, God will grant our prayers. I want to urge you, go and practice this. Worship, persistence or faith and you will find that your prayers will not be denied. God will be there for you and will answer your prayers. Thank you very much. If this is a blessing to you, share it with your friends. But much more, may I ask you to subscribe because when we put out new videos, which I believe will be a blessing, we want you to be notified. Have a great time of worship and receiving of answers to your prayers. Amen.